So race one is in the books, and we now find ourselves at Lake George for the annual Winter Carnival. Only I'm without Wendy, as not only did we have to do some repairs during the week, but before leaving the shop for the weekend, the gas tank decided to fall out of her. With no parts in hand, I moved to running my streetcar. Unfortunately, the streetcar is set up for asphalt and not ice, and didn't perform well at all, so James and I resorted to pulling double duty with Glenda. That required back-to-back -back driver and tire swaps to make it work, so there was limited time for vlogging. But that doesn't mean we didn't get some cool shots on the track. But just as the weekend started with Wendy's ill-timed luck, the sentiment seemed to continue throughout the event. James maintained his points lead, but I was now in a hole due to the poor showing with the streetcar and the unfortunate incident with Glenda. But with only a week between races, it was quick work in the shop to get Wendy repaired. Our next scheduled ice outing was the second Audi Winter Driving School of the season on the following Saturday, followed a day later by our next race. Turning your wheels that way, you're going to be on the throttle as long as you have an all-wheel drive or a front-wheel drive car. 
you're going to be on the throttle, and it's going to, the car is going to straighten right back out. All right? So we'll teach that when we're out there, but keep that in mind. So you're going to feel that. Okay. So James, here we are. What are we doing? I'm rocking in the Corora Boli Alice. That's right. We're on yeah. the skid pads. We're having a good time. Got the traction control off. Yes, excellent. Ready? That's what we need. She's ever. all hyped up on Mountain Dew. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Let's, do it. Let's go have some fun. They're going to come off in two seconds. You guys are going to have this one. All right. And we're going to do it. We'll make Ready. a dance. Yeah. Skid pad. Corolla style. Yeah, Corolla Let's do it. Alice. Are you guys switching? Okay. Yeah, they are. Yes. Okay. <laughs> a bit of a delay in the plan because people can't afford two Audis. They can only afford one. I turned to her, I go, oh, here comes Joe with another pep talk. That's here right. we go. That's right. <laughs> both, we, both we gave cars, it all we had on the last one, Joe. I know. So I know what you think we're gonna get. I mean the car is rocking. I mean I, I see I see it going at all kinds of places. <laughs> we're still waiting. She's nervous. She thinks okay. she's gonna damage the Corolla. Well, you can't damage your Corolla worse than I've damaged my race car. That's true. No. Yeah, like 60 miles an hour to a snow bush. Yeah, yeah snow, the snow bushes kind of jump out every once in a while. Yeah, those, those are the snow bushes, the snow banks there. Yeah. Yeah. But the cool part about front wheel drive is, is we're going to look at the snow bush when we hit it as opposed to being backwards. No, no, no. You should be telling her, be looking at those cones all the time. Always looking <laughs> at the cones. Get on that Toyota. I'm just gonna shake my head. Go get him, Joe! trophy every time. Good job, Joe! You nailed it! <laughs> hmm? I don't need to. I'll move once they start moving, don't worry. Are you the IC student? I am one. Oh, I'm the IC. <laughs> <laughs> well. Go ahead, go! out there with their cars, taking students with the race cars. It's starting to snow actually a little bit. But for right now we're out there. I think the yellow run group, there's uh, three run groups that uh, are out. Green, yellow, red. I think yellow is out right now. So I'm gonna head back out onto the racetrack with uh, some students and uh, do some more instruction. And then uh, it'll probably be it for the end of the day. And uh, we'll head back to our place that we're staying at tonight and start racing tomorrow early morning. And hopefully the weather holds up and the track holds up and the ice holds up. There's a lot of factors. Hopefully it all works out and uh, we can be racing in the morning. So I don't know if you heard that on the camera, but the ice heaved. Hear it? For all the newbies that come out here and they go but it's really not that bad. It's actually the ice distributing itself nicely, so.
notice, are you studded or no? I have street studs on. Okay. Those are race studs. It's a different experience. Yeah. Finishing up here at the Audi Club. Last session of the day, packing up, ready to go. Car needs to go on the trailer. So you got like nine hours footage. I have to get the narration footage, right? Oh, is that it? Yep. For the, for the most recent vlog. The vlog. Cause I can roll a piece of crap off. Mackie. What? So we're at the Airbnb and he has a Hudson something. I don't know yet, we're gonna find out. James was playing with the uh, 49 Hudson, something else in the garage. He's got stuff apart, the guy that owns this place. Really cool. So, yeah, the Airbnb is actually really nice. Uh, here's one of the rooms. This is how we make do with race weekends away, staying at the lake. It's a pretty sweet area, pretty sweet place. Um, but, yeah, so uh, cars are parked for the night. We'll get up in the morning. We'll go to uh, set up tech inspection because James and I do tech inspection for the street legal class. And then uh, we'll head uh, to pre prepare our cars. We'll already be on the ice doing tech inspection, but uh, we'll then prepare our cars and we'll get going shortly thereafter, have the driver's meeting, and uh, we'll keep you all updated with that. So for now, we're going to go get some uh, food and drinks and uh, sleep because it's a long day. So we'll see you uh, tomorrow morning. So it's about 7.45 in the morning, we're ready to uh, head up to the lake and uh, start preparing, setting up a tech inspection. Great place that we stayed at last night. Got a new fan, I think, and uh, we're going to head up there now and keep these cars warm, keep ourselves warm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ice racing. James, tell me about the locals' uh, eating habits. So, here at the local, we, uh, we cook foiled dinners. This morning I had a nice vodka penne a la exhaust manifold. Yeah, well that's good. And currently we're doing some steamed burgers uh, a la Pops burnt knuckles. Mustache hamburgers. Brother Mucker! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and, uh, we don't have any fire resistant gloves though, so we're going to try to wing that. Yeah, we don't weld on the ice. Joe's got his driving gloves, though. He does, yeah. Uh, those are flame retardant. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we just make do what you got. It's either starve or uh, eat half the food. Trust me, we're going to eat. I don't we're want gonna... you guys getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's see the four wheel drive guys are out now. Just had my race. Uh, started first, finished fourth, wasn't great. But uh, track was rough, so I had to settle in a little bit. Once we did that, it was all right. But go out again and probably after lunch, after these guys, big stud guys, come back out. But for now, we'll enjoy some hamburgers, hopefully, and some racing. <laughs>
So Wendy decided to break again this week, except uh, this time it was the coolant reservoir cap that gave way, I guess we could say, and then poured all over the alternator that we just put in a week ago on top of the power steering pump still leaking. So uh, getting six volts to the battery trying to charge and it doesn't work. So missing the last heat of the day right now and uh, waiting for the tow truck to show up and take it back to the shop again for the third time this season. So not exactly fun or exciting so yeah we'll uh take wendy back get her fixed up again for another time for another race but man it's getting annoying we'll try to do our best and uh keep james in the hunt here he's obviously still in the lead in points as uh he hasn't had many competitors this year so we'll uh we'll do our best and keep you updated on that Yep, another tow home. <laughs> 